I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endure to all generations. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our life. In him we live, we move, and we have our being. Truly with him all things are possible. Without him we could do nothing. We thank God for Jesus Christ. For truly if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up. For it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Why? Because his compassions fail thee not. We thank you for tuning in to another broadcast of the Word Ministries, hosted by yours truly. I am Pastor Billy Bedford. We give honor to God, and we thank God for you, everyone, that have tuned in to this broadcast. And we pray that God, amen, will, amen, encourage you through his word. Amen. And that he will uplift you through his word. For his word has gone forth out of his mouth, and it shall not return unto him void. It shall accomplish what it please, and it shall prosper where it is sent. I thank God for the word of God. Amen. Amen. The word of God is powerful and is sharper than any two-edged sword. And I thank God for the word of God. No wonder David said, Thy word, O Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Thank God. We thank God again for you. Amen. We thank God for you that tune in every week to this broadcast. Cindy Ann Swain, Miss Shirley Jones, out of Sylacauga, Alabama, the Hell family. Amen. From Sylacauga, Alabama. Amen. Brother Oscar Cook over in Talladega, we thank God for you. May God continue to keep you all. And I thank God for all of you that tune into this broadcast. And if you desire prayer, you can call that number that is under the bottom of your screen. We would pray with you. We will pray for you. The Bible declares that where two or three of you are gathered together in my name, touching and agreeing that there am I in the midst. And when Jesus is in the midst, amen, everything is going to be all right. Amen. It is his will. It is his desire that we prosper and be in hell, even as our soul prosper. He would, amen, to have us to be blessed. Amen. If we trust him and lean not to our own understanding, but trust in the Lord with all of our heart. In all our ways acknowledge him. He shall direct our paths. And we thank God for him being a leader and a path director, a guider of our heart, soul, and mind. We're going to go to the throne of grace in prayer. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, ask and it shall be given Seek, and you shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. He said, whatever we ask in his name, that will he do. He said, if we abide in him and his word in us, we can ask what we will, and it shall be done. Call me, he said, I'll answer. Cry to him, and he said, I'll say, here I am. You will call me, and I will answer you, and I will show you things that you know not of. Thank God for him being a God that not only hear prayer, but answer prayer. And he'll answer your prayer. Amen. He's answered prayers before for you, and he's going to continue to answer your prayers. Amen. If you trust him, if, if you live for him and lean upon him, Praise the name of God. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father God, we come with bowed heads and humbled hearts, thanking you for your loving kindness, for your multitude of tender mercies. Thank you for being God and God all by yourself. We give over to you mind, body, soul, and spirit. Help us, God, and strengthen us by your mighty power, for it is not by might, 
not by power, but it's by your spirit, saith the Lord. We thank you right now. We give over to you right now. We cast all of our cares upon you. For you care for us. We pray for those that are sick in their bodies. We pray you touch them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Touch them by, by your mighty power, oh God. Have your way in our lives. If there be one or any that are not saved, I pray salvation to you today. I pray that you will come to know Jesus in the free forgiveness of your sins. He will abundantly pardon. And I thank you for, Lord, being a forgiving God. Help me to speak your word and speak the truth in love. Let your words, God, be seasoned with grace. Let my words be seasoned with grace. And let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. To the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter number 12. We're going to begin reading at verse number 40. To the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, and begin reading at verse number 40. There you will find these words recorded. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. Then he says, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. While he talk, yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my brother? Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. We're going to take our context subject from verse number 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. We want to talk to you from this subject. We are in his will to do his will. We are in his will to do his will. The Lord God created us 
Amen. With the desire that we all be in his will. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. The benefits, one of the benefits, the many benefits of being in the will of God is that you get and receive everlasting life. Amen. That ought to persuade us, convince us, encourage us to be in his will. Let me move any form, any and all forms of legalism out of the way. You're not in his will because you do his will. In other words, you're not saved, amen, because you do his will. You do his will because you are saved. Amen. If the truth be told, all have sinned and all have come short of the glory of God. If the truth be told, we are all like sheep which have gone astray, turned every one to his own way, but the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. We're in his will to do his will, but we didn't get there through our goodness, through our righteousness, through our holiness. We didn't get saved because uh, we do this or did that. We're saved by his grace through faith, not of ourselves. Amen. Yeah, you, you might be, amen, wanting to stick your chest out and say, look what us did. Look what I did. But I stopped by WOIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, to tell somebody we are saved by grace through faith. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest anyone should boast. It is the gift of God. Amen. It is the gift of God that, that places us, positions us in his will. But I also want you to know that he placed you in his will. He positioned you in his will. Now we ought to have a mindset to do his will. You abide in me, my word in you. You can ask what you will and it shall be done. God wants us in his will. Amen. With the purpose not to look good and glamorous, not to, amen, style and profile, but we're in his will to do his will. I heard an elderly Baptist deacon, amen, grab a hymn one day and said to serve this present age, my calling to fulfill. May all my power engage to do my master's will. We are in his will to do his will. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. In the setting of this lesson today, Jesus was making a comparison uh, a man to the coming of the Son of God. Uh, for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. Uh, you remember Jonah. Uh, the Jonah that didn't want to do the will of God. 
the, the Jonah, amen, that amen hid himself. Uh, good God here. Uh, but I stopped by today, W-O-I-L, TV 47, uh, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, uh, to tell somebody, uh, amen, that God has an all-seeing eye. Uh, yeah. Now, no wonder, amen, he said, when you do your deeds, now, do it like you're in a secret closet. Now, and the Father that sealed thee in secret now, will reward you openly. Now, you don't have to make a show. Now, you don't have to now, try, to guide, try to grab attention. Now, God see what you do, uh, and he know your heart. Now, all the ways of a man are clean, now, but God now, looks at the heart. Uh, man looks on the outer appearance, uh, but God, uh, he looks on the heart. Uh, as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so, so shall the Son of Man be. Uh, Three days and three nights now, in the heart of the earth, now, the men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment now, with this generation now, and shall content, can condemn it now, because they repented now, at the preaching of Jonas. Now, but I stopped by W-O-I-L, TV 47, now, located in the marble city now, of Sylacauga, Alabama, now, to tell somebody now, a greater now, than Jonas is he, now, is here, now, a greater preacher now, than Jonas now, is here. Now, hallelujah. Now, Thank you, Lord. Ha, yeah. Ha, good God Almighty. Now, the queen of the south now, shall rise up in the judgment now, with the generation now, and shall condemn it. Now, she came from the uttermost now, parts of the earth now, to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Now, and behold, now, a greater now, than Solomon is here, now, a wiser Huh, then Solomon is here. Huh, yeah. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, who you talking about? Huh, I'm talking about huh, Jesus, huh, who we are called huh, to serve. Huh, yeah. Huh, I'm talking about Jesus. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, the supreme example huh, of servanthood huh, at 12 years old huh, told Mary and Joseph, I must be about my father's business. I'm talking about Jesus that said I must work the works of him that has sent me while it is day for the night come that no one can work. I'm talking about Jesus, the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world now, a greater ha, than Jonah is him now, a greater ha, than Solomon is him now, his name ha, is Jesus ha, one that stepped out now, and declared now, I didn't come ha, to be <coughs> I did not come to be ministered to but I came to minister to you. I didn't come here to be served. I come here to serve you and to give my life a ransom for many. And you were one of the many that he gave his life a ransom for. You are one of the many that he came to seek and to save that which is lost. You and I were one of the many that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him should not perish but have 
everlasting life. Jesus is a supreme example of being in the will of God. He did not do it for show, outside show, form, or fashion to this unfriendly world. But he done it, hallelujah, to serve God the Father. When he was baptized, the voice from heaven sang, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. We're in his will to do his will. We should have the mindset to do his will. Therefore, we can't do it sitting down. We too must be about our father's business. We too must work the works of him that has sent us while it is day, for the night comes when no one can work. If you're not doing his will, today, is a day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, for today is a day of salvation. If you're not in his will, we invite you to come. Come while the blood is yet running warm in your vein. Come while it is yet day. For the night comes when no one can work. Come without money. Come without price. The spirit says come. The bride says come. Come. Whosoever will, let them come into the will of God. And he will place within you a desire to do the will of God. Jesus will place the desire to do his will if you're in his will. You just can't hold your peace. Before you take it back, you'll add more to it. When you're in his will, you're there to do his will. If you will hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God and to do all his commandments, he said, I will command my blessings to come on you, to overtake you. When you're in his will, to do his will, he said, I'll bless you in the city, I'll bless you in the field, I'll bless you in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your ground. When you're in his will, to do his will, the enemy may come against you one way, but they're going to flee before you seven ways. When you are in his will to do his will, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, you shall condemn. When you are in his will to do his will, Jesus was that perfect example of being in the will of God. The Bible said that while he yet talked to the people, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, our mother and our brethren stand without. They want to speak with you. Jesus answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. Amen. He was talking to them. He was letting them know, You're my mother. You're my brethren. You're my sister. Because whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, 
the same as my brother and sister and mother. When you're serving God in the will of God, we become like a family. There should be no isms and schisms in the body. There should be some togetherness. How good, how pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity. When we can come together and serve him, one may cook the potato salad, one may cook the po dressing. Amen. Hallelujah. But we all work together as one. Let there be no divisions among you. Praise the name of God. Don't worry about who cooked the best. Don't worry about who did this and who do that. Do the will of God for yourself. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling because you're in his will to do his will. And in order to do that, you've got to give yourself over to him. The songwriter said, I give myself away so that you can use me give myself away. Here I am. Use me. And that's the way we ought to be. Paul said it like this. Amen. In Romans 12 and 1. Amen. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable, the perfect will of God. God bless you, God keep you, is my prayer. Follow in your first.